Titanium is a special metal. It's lightweight, strong and extremely corrosion resistant and it's also very expensive. And when it comes to everyday carry gear, it's super desirable. In this video, we've rounded up some great titanium EDC gear for your enjoyment. So let's get into it. So if you don't know much about titanium, hang around and I'll tell you a little bit more about the metal as we go. But first I wanted to start off with this. This is the Heine Haynes Penfold 2 Pocket Knife. And this is a follow up to the original Heine Haynes Penfold, which was so well received it prompted this version too. And this sequel now has a baby brother in the form of the Penfold 2 Mini. Now, Heine Haynes, for those that don't know, are the UK's leading supplier of outdoor tactical and everyday carry gear starting in life 25 years ago as knife specialists. They have unique collaborations with many of the best known knife suppliers, such as my Spyderco UK PK, and they ship all over the world. Now they're not sponsoring this video, but they often supply the channel with loan items on request. And I wanted to give them a shout out because here at the channel, we are big fans. So the Penfold is one of Heine Haynes' own exclusive knives and is a classic folding knife. It is a slip joint with a non-locking blade and a strong back spring. So this is legal to carry in the UK, having a blade length of under three inches. This drop point blade steel is S35VN with a full flat grind and has excellent edge retention and resists rust effortlessly. As you can see, when I compare it with my Victorinox blade, it's very substantial. The mini penfold blade is the same thickness as the standard version. S35VN steel was developed in the US and is typically used for high-end premium pocket knives and for the price is generally regarded as one of the finest knife blade steels with a balance of edge retention, hardness and toughness. The handles here are of course titanium and these cutouts help reduce weight and improve balance as well as I think looking fantastic. This knife doesn't have a pocket carry clip, but it does come with this hidden lanyard bar. And that's also evident on the Mini. And that's really nice to see and gives you some additional carry options. The standard penfold blade length is 6.7 centimeters and the closed length of the knife is nine centimeters and the weight is 65 grams. This costs 90 pounds in the UK. The Penfold Mini has a blade length of 5.3 centimeters, a closed length of 7.2 centimeters, and the weight here is 43 grams. And this one costs 75 pounds. It's worth noting that the custom reviews on this knife are exceptionally positive and it's easy to see why. For a basic folding knife at this price, these are some of the best I've seen. Incidentally, if you want to know more about any of the items featured in this video, then I'll put links in the description below. Okay, next up we have this, and this is the Pitchy X2. And this is an all-in-one pocket tool from Pitchy Designs based in Canada and aimed squarely at EDC enthusiasts. I backed this on Kickstarter and it arrived with me a few weeks ago. The list price on this is around $119. I paid about 70 pounds as an early adopter. So as you can see, it's not cheap, but it is unique in the market thanks to this self-adjusting nut driver. And that suggests to me that this could make an excellent tool for cyclists. You'll see on the back here, we've got a pocket clip and that is removable. And that's probably a good thing because the clip is located so far down in the pocket, it feels a little bit unbalanced. It might though help hold it in place if you keep it in a pouch. This is made from grade five stone wash titanium and weighs in at an amazing 44 grams. As well as this self-adjusting nut wrench here, there is also a utility knife and this takes number 11 surgical blades, which are readily available. And as you can see, it nicely clicks into place when opening and closing. In fact, the whole 
tool feels very well made, as you might expect for this price. And when the knife is open, it actually feels really good to use because you can put your finger here and get a really good grip for some control and it keeps your fingers out of the way from what is a very sharp blade. Then we have the pry bar and that's a key feature on this tool and this one is somewhat compromised by the angle here which enables the blade to fold out without being obstructed. But what that means is when you're applying leverage force on something with a pry bar, it does sort of twist a bit as you use it and that's not ideal, but it's not, I would say, a major drawback. We also have here the ever-present bottle opener and also tucked away on the bottom here we have a magnetic quarter inch driver socket. So you can now use this as a T-handled high torque screwdriver for your favorite quarter inch bits. So a lot of thought has gone into this tool. It's high quality and has some really useful functionality, but, and this will become a common theme, all of this comes at a price. As a side note, this quarter inch driver here on this tool actually doesn't fit a quarter inch bit because there has been a problem in manufacturing. The material shrink in the make and it seems that the manufacturer didn't take that into account. And what Pitch are doing is sending out brand new tools to all of those early backers. And that to me is always the mark of a good supplier if they're willing to go the extra mile to sort that problem irrespective of the cost to them. So all credit to Pitchy for doing that. If you order one now, that should no longer be a problem. So very briefly, what is titanium? Well, it's an element, which means it can't be broken down into any other substance. And it sits at number 22 in the periodic table. It's named after the Titans, the mythological Greek gods, and it's as strong as steel, but only 45% of the weight. It's 60% heavier than aluminium, but twice as strong. Titanium in use is usually combined with small amounts of other elements to form a titanium alloy. And this grade five alloy is significantly stronger than commercially pure titanium. It has a chemical composition of 6% aluminium and 4% vanadium and is valued for its extreme corrosion, resistance, heat resistance, maintainability. In fact, small scratches here will self heal and obviously lightweight strength. All of this comes at a price as we shall see. Next up, we have this, and this is the Rovivon S3 Ti flashlight. And Rovivon were good enough to send this on request for this video, and I have to say, I really like it. Some of you will know that my everyday carry choice of flashlight is a Rovivon, so I'm already a big fan of the brand, but this thing is next level. It looks like Yoda's lightsaber, or some other artifact from the future. And for me personally, this is a little bit big for everyday pocket carry, but I know for many of you, it is actually an ideal size. It's made from titanium alloy. It weighs just 89 grams, including a pocket clip, which I'll come to. And it features this optic lens made by Ledl of Finland, who are long established LED lighting experts. It's equipped with three LEDs, optional cool white, which we have here with a maximum 1800 lumens, which is loads, or a neutral white Nichia LED array at 1200 lumens maximum output. In terms of battery, this uses a protected 16340 lithium ion battery. Now this is rechargeable, but this size of battery means that this is compatible with the standard CR 123 battery. So effectively, you've got a dual fuel option in that if you can't recharge this, you could carry a CR123 as a backup. And as you can see here under this rubber flap, we have a USB-C charging socket, which is really good to see. And this thing can recharge in 90 minutes. The flashlight comes with a two-way reversible pocket clip, so it can attach at that end and also it can attach to the base there if you want to clip it into your pocket with the lens facing down. It does have a quarter inch tripod hole built into the clip, which I think is a little bit unnecessary. I can't imagine wanting to mount this on a tripod, but it's there 
if you need it. Apart from the pocket clip, you do have a lanyard hole there. So that gives you additional carry options. In addition to that, we have here a slot which can be used for a tritium vial. So it will glow. Those are available separately. And somewhat bizarrely, we also have this here, which is a ceramic glass breaker. So in an emergency, you can use this theoretically to smash through glass. And all that is integrated into the tail cap. In terms of water resistance, it's IPX7, which is next to the best that you could hope for. It will allow it to be dunked in water briefly, but not submerged for any length of time. Let's quickly run through the operation. You've got four light levels, low, medium, high, and turbo, and that's eight lumens, 100, 500, and 1800. On 1800, it only lasts for a minute or two before it starts to drop down to lower light levels to preserve the battery and stop it overheating. In terms of operation, you press it once and it comes on at the lowest level. And when you press it twice, it allows you to step through the four brightness levels. And it remembers the last level it was on when it's turned off. If you press it three times, it comes on at strobe, one, two, three. Or if you press it again, it goes to an SOS mode. Press it once to turn it off. And then it has one more useful feature, which is a lockout. Press it four times, one, two, three, four. Little red light flashing there. It's now locked out. So if you press the button, it will not come on. So it won't come on accidentally in your pocket and set your pants alight. So really simple, useful functionality. And at that 1800 lumens, you have a maximum beam range of 126 meters. So all things considered, this is a really bright and functional light for its size. As far as the price goes, this is £120. So like anything titanium, this is not cheap. There is another version of this light though called the S3, identical in terms of operation, but it is a different design and it's made out of aluminium, not titanium. So in my view, it doesn't look anywhere near as nice, but it is half the price. Okay, now this is the TIEDS screwdriver from Big Idea Designs, a well-established maker of everyday carry essentials based in the US. They have a good pocket tool range in their lineup and their material of choice is grade five titanium alloy. They have three quarter inch bit screwdriver designs in their range and the TIEDS is my personal favorite. The mechanism here is very much like a folding knife, which is probably why I like it, with single handed opening using the thumb stud here and then a frame lock to prevent the screwdriver folding back on your fingers when it's being used under pressure. A perfect EDC tool for those that need frequent access to a screwdriver and the TIEDS has three bits built in, which obviously you can change to those you use most frequently. One of the bits is held in place here in the screwdriver itself. And then there are two additional bits which slot in here and are retained in place so they don't fall out. The screwdriver has a 40 millimeter articulated extension arm, allowing you to get into tight places, which is where tools like this often fall short, quite literally. In addition to that, the fact that you can use it at an angle gives you increased leverage when you need it. It also has here this substantial removable pocket clip or belt clip, and that gives you easy access if it's in regular use. And the screwdriver is made from solid titanium alloy with stainless steel screws. It weighs in at 80 grams and the screwdriver is backed by a lifetime warranty. This costs £128 in the UK, which includes tax. And a big thank you to Big Idea Designs for agreeing to send this through for this review. Okay, what's next? Well, we have this, and this is the Dango M1 Titanium Maverick Tactical Wallet. And when it comes to cool looking wallets, few draw the eye like this one. This is made in the USA and is composed of 100% raw machined titanium. This wallet chassis has a card capacity of 10 cards, but at a push. There is also a bifold option of this wallet, which increases this capacity to a notional 16 cards, again, at an absolute wallet warping push. 
We have leather here for this pocket, which is supposed to take up to four cards, but I personally think one is better. And this could be your go-to card for contactless payments or easy access. Two cards is very tight, as you can see, and four is quite frankly hard to imagine. We also have here a silicon band, which is designed to hold folded cash. The metal all round shields the cards in here, the main part of the wallet from RFID theft, which I'm not actually sure is a thing. In fact, if you let me know in the comments, if you've had cash taken from your account by a thief with a remote scanner, I think we'd all be interested to know how much of a problem this really is. The main part of the wallet can take four or six cards, and I'll come to the reason why in a minute, but they just slot in here quite neatly. We've got four cards in here. You can only hold six cards if you don't have this tool in here. This version of this wallet comes with the 10 function Dango MT04 multi-tool and that slides into the main cavity of the wallet here. The multi-tool is made from heat treated high carbon stainless steel so it's not titanium so adds a little bit to the weight of the wallet. The functions of this multi-tool include this seat belt cutter here. We've also got a serrated edge and plain bladed edge and a chisel edge here. In addition to that, we've got some paracord tensioners and also an oxygen bottle wrench and a quarter inch bit wrench. Not forgetting also we have a bottle opener in the end here. Now the bottle opener is more easily accessible because you can simply move it up and it locks into place and that might be your most used tool. The multi-tool is easily removable from the wallet and can be left at home when traveling, particularly if you're flying with hand luggage, you won't be allowed that on a flight unless it's checked in. So the capacity of the whole wallet is realistically six to eight cards, depending on whether you have the multi-tool in there or not. There's no getting away from the fact that this is quite a bulky wallet. I've put the dimensions on screen now so you can work out if it's right for you. Also, it's quite heavy. It's 170 grams with the multi-tool or 125 grams without. And finally, the price for this wallet is a relationship busting £255, including the multi-tool. But don't despair, it also comes with this knotted lanyard too. So compared with just about any other wallet I've seen, this is heavy, bulky, expensive and impractical. But let's face it, it's bulletproof and it looks like it fell off a spaceship. And if that's the look you're going for, you're going to love it. Okay, next up we have this, and this is a lighter from Titec called the Peanut, and it's made from titanium. So gas lighters can leak, which is why I always carry a ferro rod backup option for fire lighting when outdoors. And I usually avoid fuel lighters altogether because the fuel will generally evaporate quite quickly. So unless you keep it regularly topped up, it's not a reliable option. However, this peanut lighter from Titec, as well as being very compact and lightweight, is also sealed with this O-ring here, and that prevents the lighter fuel from evaporating, which means once it's fueled up, it should always be good to go. Now I fueled this up over three weeks ago with just a small amount of lighter fuel and carried it around whilst on holiday in high temperatures, using it a few times to light a tweak burning stove, and it's still going strong now. So this has a stone washed finish and there is a hole here in the cap so you can use it on a keychain or a neck cord or paracord and it also has a flat bottom and that means it can stand up so if necessary you can use it like a candle. Also what makes this extra useful is that the lighter can come out so now you've got a titanium waterproof case for something important like your meds. So a little bit of dual functionality with this one. The dimensions of this are 4.8 centimeters long, 
with a diameter of 1.5 centimeters and the weight is 24 grams with the lighter insert in and 17 grams without. It also comes with a spare wick and flint and costs 18 pounds. Okay, so next up we have this. This is the Fox Radius Titanium Knife. <laughs> So this is a lot bigger than the penfold we saw earlier and kindly on loan from Heine Haynes. And what makes this interesting is that in 2019, this won the overall Knife of the Year award at the Blade Show in Atlanta. So what makes this knife special? Well, Fox are an Italian maker with a great reputation and the standout feature on this knife is this radius locking and opening system which I've not seen on any other knife. The blade is locked in place when closed and open by pressing the button here and rotating it around the pivot. A really smooth and intuitive action. And now it's locked firmly in place. To close it, you press the button and rotate it back again. M390 steel has excellent corrosion resistance, hardness and edge retention and ease of sharpening is also good relative to its level of wear resistance. It's a high-end steel similar to the very capable steels like S35 VN. The handle as you might have expected is titanium with bronze anodized accents on the pivot, back spine, thumb stud and pocket clip and it comes supplied with this nice leather pouch. The blade length is 7.5 centimeters, which is normally legal for UK carry, but the fact that the blade locks, unfortunately rules it out in the UK for carry without good reason. The weight is 142 grams, and if you're sitting down, the price is 385 pounds. This is the TI Arto EDC pen from Big Idea Design. It's made from grade five titanium alloy and it weighs in at just 29 grams. It feels really nice in the hand, looks great and has a substantial deep carry pocket clip. Interestingly, the clip is made from grade four titanium, which has a little bit more tension. It has a removable cap, which screws on to the bottom in use and the o-rings keep everything tight and secure but that's not all this pen has a unique trick up its sleeve and that is it can accept over 750 different refills without any hacks or modifications that means that if you have a favorite pen refill that you love to write with then there is every chance you can use that refill with this pen, as well as future proofing the pen if you discover a preferable refill in the future. The pen refill goes in here and you turn the base to match the length of the refill. Then when you twist the grip of the pen, the collar at the tip holds the pen nib in place, rather like the chuck on the end of a drill. And that means no tip wiggle when you write, which can be very annoying. I'll put a link in the description below to a huge list of refills this pen has already been tested with. The pen is available in three finishes. This one is Stonewash and there's also a machined raw and a midnight black. And the price on this pen is 89 pounds. So if you've enjoyed this titanium EDC haul, then you might just want to take a look at this rather unusual EDC collection. Just click the link here. So there you have it for this one. I hope that's been useful. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.